What's good, everybody? Welcome back to JWTV. This is Jay Wilson TV. If you're new here, I'm Jay, and I'm happy to have you. If you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing the notification bell. And by doing so, you'll never miss out on the regular content that I share here. It's a great way to stay connected and be a part of the community that we have here. All right, so as you read the title of the uh, video and you saw the thumbnail, we're gonna be talking about we're gonna be talking about five ways to increase your FPS on 5M. Some of these ways might not work for you, and some of them might actually really help you out in the long run. But these are five things that increase my FPS majorly on 5M. Let's get straight to it. So the first things first, you want to go to your Windows or just press the Windows button on your computer. Uh, type in Device Manager, and that's gonna take you to the Control Panel. Hit Enter. It's gonna take you here to this Control Panel. Uh, the device manager you got a list of things that you're basically uh, looking at once you get into the device manager it's going to take you to a bunch of lists of things that you have in your computer basically uh, like a lot of uh, controllers and like computer and drives and all that stuff um, it's, it's basically everything that's in your computer and how your computer functions uh, What you're going to do is scroll down to where it says sound video and game controllers Hit that little arrow and it's going to bring a list of other things related to audio and like uh, sound That's coming from your game um, And right here where it says Nvidia high definition audio If you don't have an Nvidia graphics card or you don't have this option Then don't worry about this part Unfortunately this will be one of the things off the list that you can't really apply to your game but that's completely fine because we got some other things for you ready to go. So once you're here at the NVIDIA high definition audio, you want to right click on it. By default, it will probably be enabled. So we're going to start off from where it says enabled. So basically you want to, you can actually hit disable device from here, or you can go to the properties and go into driver and then hit disable device. It's going to say disabling this device will cause it to stop functioning. Do you really want to disable it? Uh, you don't really need this device to function, especially because you already have audio and okay audio within the game of 5m and you know your headphones and everything is already functioning well you don't need this to function properly so you want to hit yes and once that says enable device and this will refresh you want to hit okay and it's going to refresh again and it's going to show you that it has like a down arrow this is basically saying it's down it's disabled you're not using it so that's good that's great um and that should automatically boost your fps it boosted my fps like five to like five to seven more fps than i was usually getting so i, I found it to be a very good way to boost your fps um for some reason i still don't know why but i mean i guess it's just because high definition audio really takes a toll on your game so i mean do what you will with the information let's get to the next tip all right so this next tip we're actually going to go into rsm free roam and we're going to show you um exactly what i did to get more fps with the in-game settings and the graphics um this has something to do with the instant texture budget so we're going to open up 5m and we're going to show you exactly how to increase your fps a little bit more all right so we're in the game right now um basically what you want to do is go to your escape or pause menu um go to settings go to graphics this is your in-game graphics settings on um, this is very important actually i got a tip from a guy i was helping a client i was helping in a discord with his game and he actually let me know that i could uh, go to the extended texture budget right here and I can increase it by 14 ticks So if you start from the very beginning like the the bottom of it like right here And then you increase it 14 times like you you, you hear the clicks 14 times as you increase Like this and you and you you hear it actively go to 14 like it has to be 14 And it's gonna actually boost your fps a whole lot Sorry, my voice got crazy there, but it's gonna boost your fps a whole lot and I actually boost my FPS by like uh, 15 to 16, 17 FPS. It's like in the middle of there. Um, I usually get like like 40 or 50 FPS with NVE or something like that. Now I'm getting like uh, 60 in between 60 to like 90. Um, and sometimes even when I look in the sky, it's like 100. So that's pretty cool. But increase that by 14 ticks specifically, and you should probably see a difference in your game. Don't worry about the video memory. And I mean, most of y'all don't really have 6,000 megabytes like me. So unfortunately, my, my PC is not always the best. I don't know why I keep getting the worst PCs. Um, and that's why I'm trying to like upgrade, but I, I don't really have the funds to do it. So not yet, at least. So it's fine, though um but yeah definitely increase that by 14 ticks um and don't worry about your video memory it's going to be fine extended texture budget doesn't really use that um unless you like go above that or something like that or you make this go in a red section but it's in yellow it's, it's fine it's still fine everything's great so just increase that by 14 um here's my in-game settings if you guys want to know uh go ahead pause the video and you can see 
um and copy it down if you want but um yeah i mean i have multiple videos on the channel basically talking about you know the best settings for more fps and like the best settings for low end pcs and that can help you out so definitely take a look at the channel i'm um, have some videos um suggested at the very end of this video so make sure you watch all the way through to check those out but yeah let's go get on to the next step um and that's going to be out of the game i'm gonna show you exactly how to get some more fps all right the next way to get more fps uh you want to go into your file explorer um and where you go into your file explorer you're going to go into your 5m application data by the way you should have your 5m application data and your grant the photo main directory pinned to your quick access um go to your file locations and pin these two to your quick access so you don't have to worry about going there and you can just switch back and forth like this it's very easy and you can always add mods and take away mods and do all that stuff personally this looks very clean and organized and i love the way it looks so make sure you pin that to your quick access i already have some tutorials on how to do that so uh you know within the other videos so you know definitely just check that out but you should know how to do that because you have a pc so what you want to do here in your 5m application data basically what you're going to do is delete the cache i know people already know how to delete the cache and they probably think well well I already do do that i already did that and i, I mean it's probably it's probably not the best way or something but yeah it really is you know some people really don't understand that you know the 5m servers that they're playing on if they play on like a crap ton a day or like a crap ton a month even and you know they don't clear their cash that's you're racking up like all the downloads that you have on those 5m servers like all the assets you're downloading every single thing everything and then it builds up on your pc and then that's why it causes crashes that's why it causes like fps and lag and stuff because you got a whole lot of storage on your pc all this game storage everything so you wouldn't delete the game storage in the ui so what you want to do here once you go and you see what i did i, I went to the data went to the you know, it's right here so it's, it's already here in the data folder so once you want to once you're here what you want to do is uh highlight these two server cache and server cache priv or prov I don't know how to really say that. I think it's just private. It's short for private or something like that. Uh, what you want to do is delete those two. What it does is just, it just deleted 10,000 items. You didn't really see it because it was really fast. Um, but here's is where it's going to delete a lot of items um, for the cash folder. So it just de it just deleted those 10,000 items. Um, I delete my cash frequently. So, you know, I release like a lot of gigabytes anyway um but if you do it and i promise you if you haven't did it before and it's gonna regenerate those folders so don't worry about it you can exit out of that but i swear if you do it right now you're probably gonna get a crap ton more fps because you just deleted like 60 gigabytes off of your 5m and it's not gonna delete any of your safe characters save vehicles nothing it's basically just gonna when you reload into a server it's gonna re-download everything that you re-downloaded before or downloaded before so that's that's going to be a major help uh so there you go about that all right the fourth way to increase more fps and you probably you probably already know about this um i just want to give you like my inside view on it um uh, before you get into the game of playing 5m so if you're like a streamer or, or even if you're not a streamer if you're just like on a low end pc or something or you just want to increase the more fps you want to go to your tax manager um and how you do that is right clicking your tax bar right here at the very bottom and it says task bar settings and then tax manager you want to go to tax manager it's going to open up this window right here so i'm put this right in the middle i don't know what it's doing okay there we go cool um so once you're here you see like a long list of things that's just running in your pc um and here are things that you can delete like you can really just right click on like settings end it you know that's taking up 0 0.5 megabytes um you can go like say you have google chrome or something open you can hit google chrome and then you can end that tax you can um windows widgets right here that's taking up 8.3 megabytes that's that's kind of a lot when it comes to like you know it, it adds up all this stuff adds up so it's taking up a lot of memory and cpu you don't really want that to take up the cpu so anything that you see that you can close i would basically just close it out i don't really have anything running in minds because you know i just started up my computer and i made sure that there was this was all good a uh, google crash handler stuff like that you, you just want to get rid of the stuff that you're not using if you have any games open in the background some games don't close out you might think that it closed out but it doesn't actually close out so you want to uh get any games and anything out the background that's running up your megabytes and running up your memory um 
so that you can game better because the the less thing you have running on your computer in the background discord google chrome all that stuff the better your game is going to run and that's just very simple um this is like basic computer knowledge at this point um and then once you're finished with the tax manager like i said delete anything anything that you could that you can delete it like in in the task in the task but once you finish doing that you want to end put it into the tax manager as well so that's not running in the background and you should have a, a good five to ten more fps after that i mean it, it just makes sense um sometimes when you have a lot of google tabs open or a lot of uh browser tabs open then that might just ruin your computer and ruin the fps so and ruin the whole game experience you don't want that so that was tip number four and the last tip i have for you guys all right everybody so we are in game right now and i want to give you the last tip that you can use take with you basically in order to increase your fps you want to go to your in-game settings go to your settings tab right here enter of course go all the way down to graphics and advanced graphics you want to make sure First, you want to make sure your video memory, I think I already told you this earlier, I'm not really sure, but you want to make sure your video memory is within the green or yellow. Um, you don't want it all the way at the red zone unless you're running a specific graphic mod that pushes it there and it's still apparently at 60 frames per second. So uh, what you want to do is go to advanced graphics. You just want to make sure all of these options, all three of these options are off and your extended distance scaling is all the way down. That's gonna save you a lot of FPS. That's the main reason why a lot of people's game performance um, has problems. So that's why you wanna make sure that all these options are turned all the way down low or off in general. Uh, aspect ratio, you wanna rock with a 16, nine, 16 over nine. Um, your resolution wanna be for your specific monitor mine is actually a 1440 monitor but i have a little small window and other videos i actually showed you guys this and i showed you why i like it like that so i keep it at a 1080 resolution so that i can see the small window in discord and everything on the outside um like just in case i have a message or something so i don't always have to go out and then i like to keep window borderless because that gives me the most fps i tend to have performance issues when i also use things like full screen exclusive and all that stuff so keep everything everything that you see right now pause the video change your settings to look like mine's and also your resolution and aspect ratio to match your monitor um but yeah that's pretty much it as you can see i'm getting very good fps and i'm actually using nve right now i did change it up um and nve this version that i have is a 2022 legacy version uh so if you want to definitely um check check in the discord link in the description um does cost but um yeah i mean it's a really good version and it gives me no problems i'm rocking it uh, so i'm pretty happy about that but yeah if you guys want to see any more videos just make sure you uh drop a like drop a comment you already know what the deal is make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace out